uh, I think that the innovation stocks that have been pummeled in here, many of them are a quarter to a third of where they were earlier this year. Uh, I believe they are going to be the big winners once we confirm that the inflation is transitory, that there's a recession risk out there. And when there's a fear of a recession, uh, value stocks get hit hard. And I do believe there is something to this. And when inflation gets hit, uh, value stocks get hit hard. Uh, so stay, stay tuned for that. Um, the other thing that I'd like to tell you, now these are just our strategies, but my guess is uh, other, other innovation-oriented portfolios uh, would have these sorts of opportunities. Um, uh, at the peak in, in uh, February, uh, our strategies, according to our estimates, which as you know, Wright's Law plays a central uh, casting role, um, our, our strategies, we believed, were going to deliver a 15% compound in annual rate of return over the next five years. So that's a doubling over five years, not bad, nearly twice as much as what equity markets typically deliver over time. Today, assuming that our valuations are crushed down to FANG-like multiples in five years, uh, we believe that uh, our, our strategies, certainly the flagship, every, all of the innovation platforms to, uh, together, uh, are going to deliver close to a 40% compound annual rate of return. That's a quintupling over five years. Uh, so uh, we actually are much more comfortable today than we were in February uh, in terms of the outlook for our strategies. Uh, let me talk a little bit about FUD, uh, fear, uncertainty, and doubt. In a market when uh, Chairman Powell, Federal Reserve Chairman Powell, uh, sort of changed his mind from inflation is transitory to perhaps it's not transitory. I think that has uh, unnerved the markets, and we've got investors and analysts fleeing back to their benchmarks uh, our strategies uh, typically uh, include stocks that are not in the broad-based benchmarks. And so our stocks are the ones they sell in order to move back into the benchmarks. I've been through this time and time and time again. This is no different. Uh, and so we usually do the opposite. Uh, we know they're throwing our stocks out and therefore instead of trying to get close to any benchmark. And as you, as you know, we don't have a benchmark. We're looking to the future, not the past. Uh, we concentrate our portfolios towards our highest conviction names and toward those stocks that have been punished disproportionately and we believe unfairly in the marketplace. And just to give you a glimpse of what I mean, our portfolios, our strategies have been associated with stay at home. Uh, stay-at-home stocks because they treated us so well during the coronavirus crisis. Uh, but the point we've been trying to make is that the world has changed permanently uh, because of the move towards increased digitalization. We're not going back. What's causing indigestion in the markets? It could be ta tax loss selling. Uh, that, and that should be winding up pretty soon. It could be leverage in the marketplace. Uh, we know that uh, a lot of, uh, maybe especially younger people, uh, have taken on leverage, but I think uh, the, leverage, the leverage in the ecosystem was high enough to suggest that many others were on margin as well. So we're certainly seeing that cleaned out uh, and, um, and resetting. Uh, the, another thing that came out uh, when we were talking about why would they be punishing our stocks when all of these signs of deflation and slowdown are starting to uh, crop up? And uh, I think many people who attend our brainstorms regularly uh, concluded that, you know, most people have never seen exponential growth. And they certainly haven't seen convergence of exponential growth trajectories that we see, for example, in autonomous taxi networks, the convergence of robotics, 
uh, energy storage, and artificial intelligence. So one S-curve feeding another S-curve. Uh, we think that delivers $10 trillion in revenues in, in year 10, 10 in 2030. Um, now, if that's right, that's from zero. The returns are going to be phenomenal uh, in any, uh, for any company involved in, in that particular uh, space. Um, and we also have a lot of behavior, especially during risk-off periods, that is informed by the past. Uh, algorithms just use past in, in order to um, uh, determine what to sell and what to buy. Uh, and that certainly uh, is true this time. Algorithms are pretty mindless when it comes to the future. In fact, they don't incorporate anything about the future. And more than half of uh, the trading volume we believe today is algorithm driven in some way, shape or form. Uh, and then uh, the last thing I'll say is a lot of people, at least on the brainstorm, are a little unnerved by what's going on in the labor markets, just confusing. And these are very experienced professionals. They've run companies and this just doesn't make sense to them. And so when we happened upon the Hey, you know, the, the, the transformation of the world, thanks to DeFi and DAOs and NFTs, uh, is probably going to be a lot, uh, a lot bigger or more profound than anyone can, can now anticipate and will impact the labor markets importantly. And so we're going to be doing a lot more research on, on that. And so, uh, on um, this Friday uh, in uh, the winter, or uh, soon to be fully winter, um, uh, instead of staying at home, uh, you know, you should stay connected uh, and, and stay competitive and stay globally competitive. And for any corporations who are listening to that or other businesses, uh, you need to embrace these new technologies because they're going to be transformational. And if you don't embrace them, uh, you're not going to win. In fact, you may not be around. Do you want to know one thing about crypto? I made over 3000% in profit in a few weeks. Fact is, the traditional financial system, the traditional money system makes you poor, not rich. If you want to earn $500,000, $1 million, you have to wait until you're 50, 60, 70 in the traditional financial system and you probably will still be broke and you will be old. This is not a sexy combination as you can imagine. But the question is, how can you start in crypto and make these profits? Where to invest? Where do you start? My name is Gunnar and I'm from Germany as you can hear and things are a little bit different in Germany. More about that later on. The fact is, there are lots of different cryptocurrencies. It's a gigantic universe where beginners and professionals get easily lost. But there is light at the end of the tunnel. There are seven key steps you need to follow to become successful in this market. You have to know them and if you fail one of them, it's literally impossible to succeed in this market. Just an example, one of the key points is your exchange and one of the biggest are for example Binance and Coinbase. These are trusted and well established exchanges but, and this is a big but, you won't find the super profitable coins on those exchanges. The unknown super profitable coins that get gigantic profits are not traded on those kind of exchanges. They are traded on much smaller insider platforms that are barely known. And I can tell you what those super secret exchanges are and why they are so profitable. And another super important thing are the right information sources. The point is, the internet is gigantic. There are hundreds and hundreds of YouTube channels, blogs, pages and much, much more. And there are also market makers and influencers. For example, Elon Musk, he is not a crypto guy, but the moment he recommended Dogecoin, it went through the roof, to the moon, so to say. But why did he recommend it? Where did he hear it from? He didn't hear it from newspapers. And believe me, he is listening to someone. But you have to know who and you have to react before he is reacting. This is really, really important. And these are only two of the seven steps you have to follow in order to be successful in crypto. And if you want to know all of these steps in much more detail, and if you want to have a comprehensive checklist, here's what you should do. 
There is a link below this video. Click on this link and you will get the opportunity to subscribe to my channel. Click on the link and you will see a video where I explain the next steps. So see you soon. Click on the link now. I'll see you there.